Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. I uh, hope everybody had a good day. Uh, pretty straightforward day. I uh, hope everybody had a great weekend. Uh, beautiful weather, thank God. Um, here's what I liked about today. Again, so certain days you don't really need a lot of description, right? Everything kind of sometimes plays itself. And today was a pretty straightforward day. And if you go back to kind of what we've been talking about now for weeks and weeks and weeks, expect the unexpected. After one session of the CEO of Tesla, and arguably the craziest CEO probably of all time that makes uh, the, the founder of Apple look, look sane, right? It made Steve Jobs look sane. After a day that the CEO, and again, you've never seen this, basically just downgrade his own company on extreme valuation, logically, right, the next day, it kind of takes back all the losses from the previous day. Again, welcome uh, to 2020. But what I liked, two things that I liked about today, and I'll show you the one thing that I don't. Again, I always play uh, devil's advocate. The two things that I did like what I saw today was, number one, we weren't headline driven, okay? And what I mean by that was there wasn't anything significant from the Fed. Uh, there wasn't any more meaningful, more aggressive, or new... Um, revelations coming out of the COVID-19 virus, okay? It was all about technical analysis and sentiment today. And what I liked, what I saw today from the Bulls, they had every opportunity to kind of roll over and die. Friday, uh, again, we've been talking about this off and on, back and forth, up and down, reclaim, lose, reclaim, lose, this whole 213 number on the queues. We lost it on Friday. We reclaimed it again. Again, there's no rhyme or reason what is happening. It feels like we're alternating. It's like one big uh, seesaw, up and down, up and down, and there is no follow through. But if you've been paying attention to, for what 2020 has been doing, the bulls have really been in follow through mode. You know, you take away the aggressive selling in March, you put back on the table the most aggressive year, excuse me, most aggressive month of uh, April, the, the most aggressive month in the last 33 years. And you really start to see that slowly but surely, unless we get this magnificent second and third wave of the coronavirus and this is all still on the table uh finally new york state announced friday schools will be closed for the rest of the year new jersey woke up and said well well maybe we should follow oh, okay you're only getting three thousand new cases a day so they closed down schools so Despite what's been going on, strictly from the equities point of view and the stock market point of view, you take all the, the real life uh, ramifications out, you really have to wonder how much more firepower do the bears have? You really do. And today, you know, we, we could have had our second close of technical damage back to back days on the queues. The Dow was down like 250, 300, whatever it was. The NASDAQ went red. Everything started falling apart, four or five, six dollars off its highs. And the market did a great job. They did a phenomenal job. Uh, and if you look at if you look at the intraday price action of the queues, again, we could have broken down, we could have taken out this whole channel here. Instead, we rallied, we reclaimed the 213 level, and now all the cues need to do, and again, that's a kind of a big tall order, but all the cues need to do is reclaim the five day moving average, which was 216, uh, 67 a couple of days ago, and then we have another push uh, to the upside. Playing devil's advocate, again, because there's no such thing as, you know, everything is great and pure and uh, predictable in the world. The one thing that I didn't like, despite what we just talked about, is the second day in a row that we are below the five day moving average. And the one thing that the bull does not want to see, okay, if pearl bulls do not want to see, is the sellers getting comfortable and started building lower highs. So far, we do have uh, two lower highs in consecutive sessions. You can make an argument, three lower highs from the blow off top from the last day of April. But again, for me to start 
questioning the bullish thesis. Uh, the bulls are going to have to give up this 209 area on this whole rising support. Until that happens, again, you have to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt. And when you look at the, where the healthy price action is, you really, you really have to like what beta is talking about. And if you look at the beta charts, you know, again, we'll go through the individual pivots. Pretty straightforward day today. Things you know, played out pretty well. You kind of see exactly where, again, the sentiment is. Shopify is ready to take out 52-week highs. Uh, you have Netflix, right? They came out with earnings. They sold them off. They held the range. And now we're literally one day away from really exploding back to the upside. You have NVIDIA, right? You have NVIDIA, again, held the bottom of the range, stopped at the five day. If it confirms tomorrow, it's gonna go higher as well. You have Roku, uh, it's getting firm right ahead of its earnings. If you believe that everybody's subscription numbers went up, Disney's reporting shortly, you have Netflix obviously 15, 16 million new subscribers. You have to assume that Roku did benefit again from the whole COVID-19 scenario. Just look at all the people who are downloading from the internet aspect of it. Even Apple had tremendous amount of revenue uh, coming in from its iTunes store. So again, if this model plays out, then again, Roku should be okay as well. And again, we're literally one day away from Roku breaking this whole downtrend here. So we're looking very, very good, really, really good. But the most amazing part is this Tesla, man. I, I tell you, it's the most amazing part if you would have told me you know 20 years ago when I started that the CEO of a company was gonna basically downgrade his own stock on extreme valuation how do you not think the stock is gonna follow through the next day and the most amazing part is not only did it not follow through the next day it basically took out the whole candle from Friday that's just unbelievable I mean, there's, there's nothing less nothing more spectacular than bad news uh, being engulfed and the market continues to take out price action. Uh, tomorrow, you got uh, BYND reporting. Again, are they going to be the benefit of the whole shortage of meat? You know, I'm not in that camp. Uh, you know, I, 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 I could feel... I could feel the play on that. I get it. You know, Tyson talking about shortage of meat. But again, as I said, I, I, I doubt very much, including me specifically. Like, for example, I like Morningstar products, not because uh, I don't eat meat. I love steak, okay? But my wife started eating Morningstar products a couple of years ago. I just like the way it tastes. But I would know, by, by no stretch of the imagination, if a sirloin wasn't available, okay, would I turn around and say, you know what? I need Beyond Meat. It's, it's apples and oranges. So I, in my opinion, I don't think it benefits from any short uh, shortage of meat. But again, people run with anything. They hear something and they say, well, obviously, this is a pure play on the shortage of meat. We'll see about that. They report uh, tomorrow. Uh, I believe Roku reports on Thursday. Uh, Shop reports on Wednesday. And this is kind of what we want to start off the day. This thing just looks absolutely amazing. You had a buyer come in uh, ahead of earnings for the 810 uh, weeklies and let's talk about today's session again pretty pretty basic stuff right pretty basic stuff uh, certain days you don't need to dissect and overanalyze uh, but the pivots were strong uh, they all confirmed pretty aggressively obviously Tesla was beyond beyond the, 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 the strongest one of the day uh, but pretty good stuff you know pretty good stuff and the most important part Again, we're giving the bulls uh, the benefit of the doubt. So let's talk about it. 706 uh, rejected three times on Tesla. It needs to build the spike. Now, look, I was in Tesla today three times. No, no complaints, okay? Absolutely no complaints. I didn't think for a second, okay? Here's a 706. Everybody see this? This is where we talk about uh, sneaky pivots, right? You had 706, 706, 706. What I thought was going to happen today, what I thought was going to, it was going to take out 706, trade to right around here between 716, 720 area, get rejected. Because again, common sense says CEO is downgrading his own stock. It's going to turn around and go back lower. Never did that. It stopped here. Next candle stopped here, confirmed, went into here. And then when I, by the time I logged off, I know a lot of you guys did catch it. That 750 push, you know, took this thing all the way into 762. Just absolutely amazing move. Congratulations. I know a lot of you guys did very, very well. Again, I was in this thing three times from here, from, excuse me, from here, from to here, to all the way here. So 
Um, it was good. There was nothing wrong with it. Again, nobody saw this coming. I mean, nobody saw a complete engulfment of the previous day's news from the CEO. So crazy move on uh, that. Uh, my initial thought on Netflix was going to be a 411 breakdown. It never got there. We'll talk about the upside pivot in a second. Uh, Boeing never got to the 123.50.23 macro short area. Uh, Apple, nice move on Apple. Uh, 290 keeps on getting rejected. Needs to reclaim and build. Here was Apple. Here was the 290 on Apple. It kept on getting rejected right over here. Everybody see this? 290, 290, 290. It finally took out the 290. Again, we're not looking for the top of the channel or the bottom of the chart, okay? Everybody's looking for breakouts. Everybody's looking for breakdowns. The, the key to these channels and these pivots, we're looking for the meat inside the sandwich, right? So if this is a bun and this is a bun, we're looking for the meat. All this is the meat. Um, so here is 290. Here is 290. Here is 290. It broke 290. Uh, nice first push to 292 and change before it started uh, coming back in. But nice move. Nice move on Apple. Uh, ZM upgraded today. Uh, we talked about this 4175, uh, 42 needs to build again, second entry. So uh, here was ZM, right? Here was ZM right over here. Here's the 4175, right? Here's the 4175, uh, 42 area. Okay, got above the 42, just really nice, strong move to 45. Okay, so nice move on ZM. Uh, NVIDIA never got down to the 278.50, 278 level. I actually like NVIDIA uh, to the long side tomorrow. Uh, Amazon never got to the downside. I was looking at that 22.45 uh, pre-market low, which never got down there. I actually kind of like Amazon and NVIDIA to the upside tomorrow as well. Shop is a beast, right? So Shop, they held all the ranges from Friday. Uh, here are the two levels that I was watching, uh, 629 and 637, two areas that needs to reclaim and build. And Shop went crazy. I mean, really, really crazy move on Shop. So here is the 629. 629 was the previous day's low, excuse me, previous day's high. Okay, that's the five-day confirmation. And 637 was the second number I got, was the pre-market high. So it took out 629 took out 637 and we are literally one day away for that 666 52 week high so fantastic move there as well uh buy do not a big move uh if it builds below it can flush 94 30 94 not a big move on buy do um here was the 94 30 right 94 30 94 only went down to like 93 50s but again you know i, I didn't personally trade buy do if you did god you know god bless uh, you know, a little cash flow there as well. This is where Netflix went nuts. I mean, really, really nuts. And now Netflix is literally a one day away from really, really getting uh, extreme. So uh, 418.75, 419 needs to build. Here is uh, Netflix, right? Here is Netflix right over here. Uh, right over here, this whole channel here. 419, right? Everybody see that, guys? 419, 419, 419. And first move uh, went to 423. And now we are really, really one day away from challenging this range here. It went to like 28 and a half. So very, very strong move on Netflix. Again, if it confirms uh, the top of the channel, I think it could be a very, very big move. We saw a bunch of uh, 450 near-term expiration call buyers coming in the name. So uh, they're definitely positioning for a 450 push. Uh, ZM again, take on the way up. Uh, Netflix, super strong. Shop, take on the way up. Uh, Amazon 2055 never got there. So I said, listen, good early action. We had a really extreme early action. Then I said, just wait, just see what happens uh, a little bit later throughout the day. Uh, Apple keeps on going. Again, Tesla, just a $40 candle. I mean, that's all it is. Well, that's all it was, a $40 candle. Uh, Boeing didn't work. Uh, Boeing didn't work here. 127.20, 127 if it builds below can flush. Uh, only went down like 30, 40 cents. Uh, this one didn't work. Um, here is the 127, here is the 127.50, right? 127.50 area, uh, you know, went down, you know, went down a little bit, didn't, you know, maybe went down 40, 50 cents, didn't, there was no price action, turned around and went back higher. Uh, Netflix, again, you know, 428 Friday's highest big area now, uh, buyers are coming in, so very, very aggressively. So, you know, again, th there's certain days uh, that are pretty straightforward. Uh, sometimes, uh, again, you're getting the price action uh, pretty quickly. It's, it's sometimes it's very, very clear to read. Uh, going into tomorrow's session, again, as long as the bulls do not drop the ball and start reclaiming this area here, I, I think we rally. I, I think we rally. But again, the, the most ironic part about that is 
about two o'clock, two thirty. You know, I, I talked about you know we're putting in a second lower high on on the daily chart of the queues, and lo and behold, the, the market woke up. So even though I, I, I am bullish for tomorrow, I, I definitely am bullish, but again, I'm not naive to know that everything that we talk about today has to be confirmed. So of course I'm watching Tesla, of course I'm watching uh, uh, Roku and Netflix, uh, though, you know, Netflix and Roku, really, really strong charts. Shop looks like it wants to test 52 week highs uh, as well. But again, I'm not naive. I'm not gonna start forecasting and predicting these moves. I'd like to see everything confirm. I wanna see everything valid and I wanna see the price action build and start putting its next leg up. So guys, have a great night, good job today. And with God's help again, I'll see you all in the field tomorrow. Take care guys. Congratulations for putting in the time to take control of your trading. You're one step closer to owning your future and achieving the success you desire. Want daily trade ideas directly from Dan, straight off his personal watch list? Unlock our free PS60 Vault, where you'll get nightly updates on pivot opportunities we're watching for the next day's session. Click the link in the description to get started today.